Welcome back to game time. Now to high school football. The season seems to fly by each year, and no, oh, this year's no different. Yeah, this is the next to last week of the regular season. Can you believe no. that? We start tonight with a good matchup here in town. It's the Roy Walton Bowl at Lafayette. The Generals hosting Tate's Creek in this annual event. Now, tonight a city championship was on the line. Lafayette won the district last year with a one point win over the Creekers. Tonight, same scenario. Here's Ryan Lemon. Lafayette jumps out to a quick 21 to nothing lead before the Commodores come storming back. LaRon Warner, the short touchdown run to cut the lead to 21 to 7. Tate's Creek also had to go to their backup quarterback, Luke Doobie, when starter Cam Workman left with a hand injury. And Doobie throws the 55 yard touchdown pass to Elijah Johnson. That cut the lead to 21 14 at the half. Second half, and on Lafayette's opening drive of the half, Cameron Morgan scoots in, put the Generals back up 29 to 14. Then the Lafayette defense makes the big play. Ian Shaw picks it off at midfield, and he takes the Doobie interception back for a pick six. Lafayette led it 36 14. Walker Wood continuing to do Walker Wood things, scores his second touchdown of the game. Generals go on to win it over Tate Creek. Has that hunger been there all Hi, season? Mom. Yes, sir. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Always come out and play hard, no matter what the circumstance, if the refs are against us or if the other team's against us, you just come out and play no matter what. It was an emotional week here at Lafayette after the passing of their classmate Trinity Gay earlier in the week. Generals win this one for her tonight, 50-28. to Ryan Lemon, WKYT, game time. Thank you, Ryan. Never has LCA opened a season unbeaten after eight games, but the Eagles have done just that. Tonight, facing their toughest task to date, a trip to Danville, the Admirals have won five straight against LCA to title town for the district title showdown. First play of the game, Danville's Ellison Stanfield gets the pass from Zach Dampier and takes off down the sideline, a monster gain into the red zone. That'll set up Don Levy Harris with the run to put the Admirals up on the board first, six nothing. These two waged war a couple of years ago. The game at 58-57. That's what this one basically turned out to be. Third and 15, Logan Nevis oh. connects to Ryan Stuckey. Unbelievable grab. And then Stuckey just to punch it in himself. Well, actually, that's Nevis again. The Eagles answer back. Oh my, look at the score. LCA remains undefeated, taking the district championship from Danville, 42 to 40. We head to Henry Clay. The Blue Devils hosting Brian Station. First quarter station back to punt. Tyree Clark blocks the punt. That's going to be recovered by the Blue Devils. They think they have a touchdown or at least a safety, but wait. The officials would get together and they said there was an inadvertent oh, whistle wow. on the play, so they got to re punt. <laughs> But get this, next station possession, Quentin Floyd back to pass, and he's whistled for an intentional grounding, so they do get a safety after all. Football doesn't lie. Look at that, 2 nothing. Henry Clay still in the first. Greg Couch hands it off to Clark, who takes it in for the touchdown. That made it 8 to nothing. Henry Clay, and Henry Clay gets the win 30-7. to Man, Scott County playing for another district title tonight, hosting Dunbar. And this is the most patriotic entrance in the history of football. <laughs> I mean, that is great. Down 7 0. This is great, too. Dunbar gets tricky on their own 10. The dogs fake the punt. Kalen Whiteside hits Markel Yeast. This play is going to go for a lot. How about a gain of 75? Down to the 15. Two plays later, Gavin Bug up top. Trey Homer is there on the fade. Seven, what a grab, seven, six, Scott County with the lead. That was the wake up call for the birds. Bryce Fryman takes the handoff. He's going to go 45 yards. It was all Scott County, 73 18. Big crosstown rivalry is fun. How about West Jessamine at East Jessamine right before halftime with East Jess up 14 to 7. And West Jess's Nathan Chandler barely gets oh, enough on it to go through the upright. That cuts into the lead. And then in the third on third down, and East Jess is Kyle Gann runs a little misdirection here. Oh, where is he? Misdirected the camera as well. Almost gets into the end zone. Then this would set up Aaron Fortenberry with the short touchdown run to extend the lead. And East Jess gets the bragging rights what tonight. They get the win 20 to 16. Boyle County, Western Hills playing for the number two playoff seed. Lex Kath has already clinched the title on homecoming. King and the Queen. big green machine. Wandale Robinson had a nice gain on this play. He had another 90 plus yard TD run earlier before I got there. He had 98 last week. 28 14 Boyle in the third. Jalen Youngblood is passed a little too high, and Boyle's Ben Redelick with the interception. 
And then Trenton Ashburn will take it the rest of the way for the Rebels from 16 yards out. He will find the end zone, and Boyle County erupts 64-21. Larry French going for win number 300 tonight. His Southwestern Warriors hosting Pulaski County. Warriors driving, leading 7-0. Brandon Pruitt under pressure, throws it up, and is picked off by Ricky Maxey inside the 10-yard line. However, the Maroons were not able to capitalize. Southwestern's turn to make the defensive play. Facing a 4th and 23, Wiley Kane brought down for a loss by Austin Upchurch. Pulaski's second turnover on downs of the half. And look at this. Southwestern gets the win. Congratulations, Coach French. 21-6. to Anderson County hosting Madison Southern for the district title. And my guy, Logan Mann. Coming through on senior night after a scoreless first quarter, Tyler Peters puts the Bearcats in business in the second on the keeper. Rambles and rumbles to the 15. Brendan Labhart is a beast of a young man. All hard on this run. This touchdown made it seven zip Anderson. But Madison Southern, fueled by their bonfire yesterday, comes back and claims the district title. 28 21 is the final score. We've run out of some time, but we'll give, we'll give you the score. The Montgomery County game. Montgomery County beats Woodford County 30 to 14 tonight. Next week ends the regular season, and then November, that means playoff football. And next week is just a formality for everybody. Just don't get hurt next week because next week really doesn't mean that much. And stay warm because it's getting cold out there. It actually felt like fall tonight outside. <laughs>